Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube videos. If you're into crafting and you enjoy using a Cricut, this is going to be a video you might enjoy. So grab a cup of coffee, tea, lemonade, whatever your beverage of choice is, and let's get started. So I'm sitting here in front of my computer looking at my Cricut design and I have this card already laid out. So what we're going to be talking about today is adding a digi or a digital stamp to a cut or an image that you would find in your Cricut library. Then we're going to print and cut that. So let's get started. First off, my project that I made today um, is over at the Outlaws, Twisted Thursday, and this image is from QKR Stampede, and she is Girl Digital Stamp 4801, and I think she is adorable. You can see here the address where you can find her, and it'll also be in the box below. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this over so you can see that she is just a digi stamp that I have imported or uploaded over here. Okay, if you need help uploading videos, I have videos on how to upload images, and I'll also try to remember to put one of those in the box below. Now, this little box that just says ribbon. That's just because I wanted to remember that I wanted to put some ribbon on the card. So I just always put a little block there when I'm designing. This, just a rectangle. This, just a rectangle. Just so I remember when I'm making the card to leave the spaces for these. Now these two pieces are from Pretty Pennants and they're called Daisy Pattern. All right, and I'm going to show you exactly what we did with those in just a minute. Here, I just added the text saying emboss with Doris Daisy folder. Again, just a reminder as I am designing in Design Space, I come up with ideas about what I want to do with a card or a canvas or whatever it is I'm working on, and I just kind of type out some notes to myself. So, we can go ahead and just to uh, give ourselves some space, let's go ahead and hide this. We don't need it anymore. I'll leave this up here just in case you want to see that. And I'll keep this on the screen too in case we want to refer back. So let's come in and let's take a look at this pretty penance daisy pattern. So basically I'm going to come in and I'm going to go to images. I'm going to type in pretty penance. Let's go to cartridges pretty penance. And look here, pretty penance. Now we tap that and now we will find it. And there it is. So I click on it and I hit insert images and there it is. Now I know that I want it rotated around here. We're going to go 90 degrees. So I put my cursor up here at rotate, just type in a nine in front of that zero and tap. Now I want it to go the other direction. So that's easy enough to do. I come over to flip. I want to flip on the horizontal and there it is. Okay, so that is how I brought that in. Okay, now you'll see there's a variation in color here. The way I change that color is I'm going to go ahead and ungroup these. I just tap it. I come over, touch this color. I go to advanced and I can change this color anywhere I like to change it. All right. Okay. So 
You see how I did that? All right, so let's just make that go over here for a second. Let's go back to the one that I already have sized. Let's say that you have a designer paper that you want to use behind her, all right? You can turn this into a basic color that your printer will print, or you can turn this into a paper designer pattern. The way you would do that, let's go ahead and pull this piece back, is you're gonna come in to, well, let's just change the color first. Let's say I wanted this to be um, a very light brown. I can just, again, bring this up and change my color. Now, I would then put her, I'm putting her, sending her to the front. I would put her on the front here and there she is. When this comes out printed, it's going to print this background piece, this color, and it's going to print her on top. It's gonna to look just like this. So you can color her, but this background piece is already going to be colored. Now, let's say you want that to be a designer paper. Okay, we tap it, we go to print. All right, so let me do that again. I tap here, I go to where it says fill, and I click print. Then I come over here and I, I clicked color, and I'm gonna go to pattern. All right, I have lots of different patterns I can choose from. Well, I'm gonna filter here. Um, well, let's see. Let's see what we have. It doesn't really matter. I can pull up anything. Let's pull up. Um, here's something. Here's a piece from. I don't even know where that's from. We'll find out here in a minute when it comes up. It takes a little while on the computer sometimes to come in. Um, I live out in the country. In fact, you may hear the dogs barking on my video right now, but uh, sometimes it takes a little longer, but here it is. Now, I can edit this pattern. I can make it bigger, the print bigger. Okay, this is a polka doodles, by the way, and it's from um, Special Moments, which is a really fun collection, by the way. All right, so I can make these circles here as large as I like, and I'm gonna make them even larger here. Let's see, there we go, maybe not quite that large. I can move this pattern up and down here with horizontal, all right, by clicking here. And you'll, if you watch really carefully, I think you'll be able to see it move. There it moved. And you can move it to the right and left here. You watch right here and you'll see it move. Again, it's a little slow on my computer. I apologize for that. Um, but it, it will move from the right to the left. And you can see a huge difference if you type in a big number here. You can rotate this if you want to rotate it. Yeah, you can see that really easily. And you can flip it upside down, which again, I don't know that you'll see a huge difference since it's a circle pattern here. And you can uh, flip it the other way, horizontal. Okay, so let's go ahead and go out of there. So that gives me a designer paper here, and I can stick her on top like this. Okay. Uh, just to make it a little easier to see, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back off and go with our plain paper. However, I really do kind of like that with that brown. That's pretty. All right, I may do another card like this and use that designer paper. All right, so when I bring this in now, I can match this up like so. And I knew that I wanted her to stick off just a little bit there. I'm gonna pull this away. I've got this plain brown back here. And again, when this prints, it is going to print plain brown behind her. And you'll see that when I show you when we go up to the Make It. I'm going to use my 
left or my pointer finger, left click, hold and drag. That's going to select these two pieces. I'm coming down here to the bottom of my panel here and I'm going to say flatten. Now what has happened here is that is going to print that as one piece, that brown with that digi. So let's go to make it and let's see, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to make this go away for just a second so that that doesn't get in the way. And I'm going to make this go away for just a moment so that that's not in our way. Okay, now we're going to hit make it. And that is what is going to print. The little holes will be cut out of all those daisies, just as if it were a die cut that you were cutting. Okay, let's go back. Cancel that. And let's talk about what if you were to put it on this piece right here. All right, so let's pull this down. Let's unflatten her. And let's bring her over to here. All right. Okay, again, let's go ahead. I've, I've got my pointer finger or my left click. Select both and drag over. Flatten, not attach, flatten. Okay, again, I'm just gonna get all of this and just let it go away for a second. And let's see what happens now when we go to make it. Oh, ignore this. Ignore this. I forgot that we had that in print. But you see how she is attached here now, right? It is not going to cut that little girl separately. She is on top of this die cut. Okay? And this die cut will cut from the paper, the designer paper that I have, the digital designer paper. Okay? All right, so let's build this card. Here's our back. Next will come our embossed piece, a little bit of ribbon. Our back piece for our daisy pattern. And she was right on top like so. And there's our finished card. All right, I hope that was clear. I welcome all questions um, to my friend Janet who inspired this video. I hope this gives you some ideas on how I incorporate my um, images with my digital images. So how I put die cuts with images and just print and cut it all as one. I know it may not give you the dimension that you are after by getting a separate die cut, but if that's what you're looking for, my suggestion is just die cut it. So when you do this, you know, you unflatten here, bring this out, and just turn this back into a cut with no fill, and there you go. So then you've got her separate, and you can just pop her up over that. If you have any ideas you want to share about print and cut, I am really excited for you to do that. Leave them in the comment section below. Any questions, leave those in the comment section. Hey, do you have an idea, something you'd like to see? on my uh, YouTube channel. Well, by golly, give me those ideas too. This September, I'd love it if you'd join me for September 5-Minute Fridays. Uh, I have a big one up on the 6th of September. It's already up. You can see it. And there's a chance to win some happy mail. So come visit that one and see if you you have some ideas on die cuts. 
later this month, uh, we'll be looking at um, working in my dog book and um, some uh, rustic mail cards. And uh, I'm not sure what the last week is going to hold yet. Then in October, we're going to look at some fun, uh, weird Wednesdays. Ooh, sounds a little spooky. So if you've got some ideas, something you'd like to see, whether it be cricket or something else, by golly, let me know what you think is weird when it comes to crafting, because I'm looking for some really weird, strange ideas. November, I'm looking at Thankful Thursdays. Um, here in the U.S., we celebrate Thanksgiving um, later in the month of, the, of November. So I thought that would be fun. And to round out the year, we'll be doing some December festive Fridays. So if you have some thoughts, some questions, ideas, something you'd like to see, by golly, I'm ready. Throw them at me. Hey, I am so happy you joined me today. You are always welcome here at Scrappy Horses, as well as your comments and your ideas and your thoughts. Subscribe to my channel if you're into this kind of thing. If you just like to drop by on occasion for different things that I do, you are more than welcome to do that also. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I'll catch you later. Bye.